Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Jamie, and this is our From the Pasture with Hired Hand podcast. As the owners of Hired Hand website software, we've been developing websites and creating internet marketing strategies for livestock breeders for the past 10 years. The majority of our customers are involved in the breeding of registered animals, such as Texas longhorn, highland cattle, horses, and white-tailed deer, where the pedigrees are very important. The From the Pasture with Hired Hand podcast examines many of the differences in raising pedigreed livestock for maximum profit. Join us and learn what we're covering today. So today we're going to be talking with Gordon Howie with the Black Hills online sale. He is currently located in um, North Dakota, and we're going to bring him in and get started. Well, actually, you got me a little farther north than than I am. I'm actually in South Dakota. (laughs) You are. That is correct. My uh, geography is a little bit off today. We're in the banana belt. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, if, if 40 below zero... Uh, two weeks ago is the banana belt. We're in it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. So you're having a sale again this year coming up here in just a few weeks. Um, you want to tell everybody the date? You bet. We're uh, having our third annual online uh, auction on February 2nd. And it'll be in conjunction with the Black Hills Stock Show, which is one of the largest stock shows in the nation. And uh, so we are, uh, uh, we'll have several hundred thousand people in attendance uh, over the uh, duration of the stock show. We have had good participation in our, uh, in our sales in previous years. We're expecting an even better uh, turnout and uh, a wonderful sale again this year. Perfect. And we should probably tell people that February 2nd, so they don't get confused, it, it, the sale is on a Thursday. Yes, uh, it'll be the sale will be Thursday evening at seven o'clock and uh, earlier in the day we're having a regional meeting of our uh, TLBAA affiliate organization, the Great Plains Texas Longhorn Association, and those folks always show up for the sale, they participate by consigning animals and, uh, and bidding and and uh, so it's it's a wonderful opportunity for a winter market. Right. So for those people that are there, do you know the location of the sale, like where it's going to be held, what room? Yes, we'll be in the in the uh, Holiday Inn Civic Center Hotel, and uh, it will be well marked. So you come in the front door, and you'll be able to find us easy because we're strategically located on the first floor of this beautiful hotel and it's right next to the civic center where so much of the activity for the stock show is taking place so there will be cowboys and cowgirls all over the place and we're excited to uh, welcome everyone to come we'll have a live on-site sale Um, our auctioneer is dan huntington Uh, Obviously, it's hired hand that's handling the online uh, streaming and online bidding, but there'll be live bidding, a live bidding audience uh, on site as well. Perfect. Um, So for those people that are going to be online, do you want to explain how it's going to work during the sale since there'll be people in attendance as well and the animals won't actually be at the sale? That's correct. All the animals will stay home at their respective ranches. And the reason we're doing this is because uh, in February, um, the weather can be really brutal in uh, in South Dakota uh, or in the upper Midwest even, but um, we have consignments from Texas, Wisconsin, from uh, Nevada, uh, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, as many states as you can imagine. And uh, those animals are all staying home, tucked in warm in their uh, uh, respective locations. The buyers will be responsible for the transport after they purchase the animals, Uh, but we'll have uh, a big screen so people online will be able to see obviously uh, the uh, animals and and see what's going on. Uh, But Uh, On site, we'll have a big screen so that uh, folks who are bidding on site will also be able to see what you're viewing if you're watching online. 
So what made you um, want to have a sale, an online only sale? Was weather the only factor or was there other reasons to have an well, online sale a, as well? Yeah, Jamie, that's a big uh, part of it. The, the weather in, uh, in uh, February is really brutal and and we we don't want to make this just a rapid city south dakota sale this has from the inception been a sale for anyone across the country it allows people to avoid the expense of transporting their cattle to the sale and uh, there are people consigning cattle uh, one comes to mind particularly from texas the uh, the owners of that uh, particular lot won't be in Rapid City, South Dakota uh, for the sale. They'll be watching online. So it saves them the expense of travel and uh, and transporting their animal. And really, it's it's pretty brutal on animals that are that are accustomed to a warmer climate this time of year to, you know, you bring them into a, a, a sub-zero temperature, it's really, it causes a lot of stress on the animals. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is that the Black Hill Stock Show, it being one of the largest uh, stock shows in the nation, is jam-packed with events and animals. And we have had a difficult time for them to find room for us. So an online auction was our best option to be included in the Black Hill Stock Show. Love what you're hearing? Be sure to check out our pickup truck confessions. It's a video series where we hop in the truck or a rental car and interview a variety of breeders about what drives their passion for their livestock, how they got started in the breed of their choice, marketing tips, and more. And now back to the podcast. Okay. So let's switch gears a little bit and we'll talk about the consigners. Um, it seems like you have consigners from quite a few states. Yes, we do. And that is uh, uh, one of the things that we have really enjoyed about the sales, not just the Black Hills Longhorn sale, but uh, you've, you've been up for our top hand sale as well. Uh, we enjoy participation from all over the country, uh, not just people consigning cattle, but people buying cattle from, I mean, there are South Dakota cattle that are going to Texas or Oklahoma or Kansas or uh, even Oregon. Uh, and uh, also cattle from those areas coming here. Uh, our first uh, lot is uh, coming from Wisconsin. Then uh, we've got numbers of animals from South Dakota. Then uh, Hudson Longhorns has consigned a really nice cow uh, from Texas. Uh, I'm just scanning through some of our consigners right now. We've got uh, a really a, an exciting young heifer from uh, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking through some of our consignments right now. We've got uh, uh, Melissa Borst, who's consigned some uh, nice cattle from uh, Nevada. Uh, the phase, and I believe they're from, uh, uh, are they from Oregon? Yep, they're from Oregon. Uh, they have cattle in our sale. Uh, Mike Lutt from Nebraska has cattle in our sale and a and, uh, number of other people from that area. So really it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for people all across the country to uh, open another market. And uh, we are excited when we see new breeders from our region coming to our sale. And they specifically come because they're wanting to start or expand uh, their longhorn herds. That's great. Let's talk about the consignments. Uh, are there, you have, how many consignments do you have in the sale? Uh, there are 39 lots in our sale. Uh, and we, we really, that's about a perfect number. Uh, between 35 and 40, 45 is about where our target is because we we want to uh, give good attention to all the consignments and and for an online sale I don't know what your experience has been Jamie you you are more experienced than I but I I think 
the if you if you keep your numbers uh, around 40, you're generally an online sale is more successful than if you have 60 or 80 lots. Am I right about that? Um, yeah, I think that's definitely a yes, definitely fair. I think it's easier to keep their attention for you know maybe just a couple of hours versus you know three four hours. And currently, we we just opened uh, pre bidding not long ago. We've got uh, uh, bidding activity on I think uh, at least a third of the lots already, and uh, so we're we're looking forward to a good sale. And many of the of the lots also have updates. So if people have you know looked at them when we first got the animals up there, they may want to take a, a look again because some of them have the updated pictures and breeding and um, measurements. Yes, and I can I just take a moment to uh, compliment Hired Hand, uh, Jamie. You guys have been just incredible about getting the updates. Uh, uh, done almost immediately. I gave you one this morning and uh, it was like uh, just a couple of minutes later, I think, that uh, the update was included. And so by all means, if someone's listening to us and they've, they've looked at the uh, sale lots, you might find it interesting to go back because uh, Hired Hand has been very diligent about updating with current information. In addition to the updates that people have have sent in, um, in case anybody's wondering, the location of the animal is always, is listed with it as well, so they know where it's located in the U.S. and you know, for buying purposes. Yes, and and Jamie, I've also fielded a lot of questions uh, uh, on social media or phone calls, and uh, if someone's listening right now, please please don't think that you have a stupid question. There, there just isn't such a thing. And I am always available and happy to talk with you, uh, answer any questions you might have. We'll help you in any way we can help. So if you're looking at the, the catalog online or if you're having trouble accessing it or whatever you may have a question on, um, give me a call at 605-381-3998 and, uh, or you can connect with me on Facebook and, um, and I will be uh, diligent about responding and helping you in any way you need help. That's great that, you're, that you make yourself available for everyone to contact you. Are there any consignments that you want to talk about in particular? Well, you know, I, uh, there, are, there are just a number of really, really good foundation animals. And so I'm a little reluctant to talk about just a few of them because I know I would be leaving somebody out. What I would say, instead of trying to uh, plug uh, a particular animal or a few animals, what I would suggest is people log in uh, to the online catalog. And I mean, there are excellent photos. Uh, all of the pedigrees uh, are current and up to date, gives you breeding information. And call me. I'll, you know, I have talked with people who called and said, here's where we want to go with our program. What do you think about this lot or that lot? What, what animal do you think would best fit? And I'm happy to, uh, uh, talk about uh, animals and and uh, uh, I have a few animals in the sale as well. But if someone doesn't buy one of my animals, I still want to help them in every way I can. So uh, please call me at 605-381-3998 and I'll help you get you information. We've also got people, we'll help you get in touch with the uh, consigner so you can get uh, first-hand information uh, about everything from can you pet this one on the nose or uh, what the calving history has been. Any questions you might have, we'll help you. We'll get you in touch with the consigner. We want you to have a happy purchase. And uh, I don't see any animals in this sale that I wouldn't be happy having on my ranch. Any last minute things that you want to say about Doc Show in general? 
um, or anything about, about the sale that we didn't cover that you want people to know? Well, you know, one thing about uh, this uh, region is there is a lot to see. Now in the winter time, uh, if it's really cold outside, uh, you may not want to bring your uh, uh, outdoor swimsuit, but uh, <laughs> the hotels all have indoor pools and, and uh, the stock show is an indoor event. Uh, and it lasts for, I don't know, a week and a half or something like that. There are great rodeos, bull riding, uh, um, all kinds of events. So it, you, you could come to enjoy our sale in person, live, on site, and spend a few days. And you would, yeah, you'd have all kinds of entertainment available to you. It's just a, it, uh, every cattle breed you can imagine is represented. They have shows, they have sales, they have uh, an incredible horse sale. And uh, so there's a long list of, of events. In fact, you could go to uh, Black Hill Stock Show, search that online, and it'll give you a complete agenda of their, of their schedule, what's going on. It's really a, a wonderful event. That sounds great. We're looking forward to being there and we will see you February 2nd. I'm looking forward to it. And thank you again for the great help you are uh, to us. And uh, uh, if I know you didn't uh, put me on to plug hired hand, but I just want to say uh, I've developed a number of websites on my own for my own cattle and that sort of thing. And within the last year or so, I opted to have hired hand upgrade and updo it uh, and and uh, uh, get it uh, looking more professional. And I, I just wanna tell anyone who's listening, you should consider hired hand uh, to help you, whether you have in a sale or whether you just want to promote your ranch with a nice professionally done website. Uh, I could not be happier with what hired hand has done for us. No, thank you, Gordon. That means a lot. We uh, we try our hardest here. Well, thank you again. Look forward to seeing you on February 2nd. Yep, look forward to it. See you soon.